By entering this doorway, you can leave behind the chaos of Rome and take a trip back in time to what feels like the Renaissance. Much of the culture of the 17th and 18th centuries is documented here in these rooms at the Casanatense Library, a place of incredible beauty hidden among the small streets of the Eternal City. La biblioteca. Cardinal Girolamo Casanate wanted to establish this library, which is named after him. In 1698, when he was writing his will, he decided to leave his family library, which consisted of around 25,000 books, as well as 60,000 scudi in cash, buildings and land, all of it to the Dominican monastery of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva. There was only one clause in Cardinal Casanate's will which couldn't be broken. If the Dominicans wanted to inherit all of these items, they would have to build a new library to house those 25,000 books and not simply move the books to an already existing location. So in 1698, the Dominicans commissioned the architect Antonio Maria Burioni to design this room here, which has a whole array of unique features. Large windows, high vaulted ceilings, and white walls made to reflect sunlight create a very open and bright atmosphere here. The shelves, specially designed for heavy books, are in the lower areas, and the lighter items are put on the top. To protect books from dust, a strip of leather has been placed on them. Nothing has been done here by chance. This room alone houses around 60,000 books and some very special tools. These are two globes. One represents the known world up to 1716, and the other, the constellation of stars. The terrestrial and celestial globes were painted entirely by hand in 1716 by famed cartographer Amancio Moroncelli, who worked for Queen Christina of Sweden and for the King of France. So the centuries have gone by with this monumental library, which since 1884 has belonged to the Italian state and which today continues to transmit culture. Usually lectures and book presentations take place in this grand room. They usually address issues related to theology and art history. It's an incredibly rich library, accessible to students or just the curious passing through the bustling streets of Rome.